Hey there, welcome back to Spirit Cycles. Roughly two months ago, we made a video all about Mars retrograde, which had just begun its moonwalking orbit across the sky. Today, Monday, May 19th, we are closing out the cycle and transitioning back into our regular flow. But what does that really mean? To be honest, this actually has to do with gravity at a subatomic level. Nazim Haramin recently published a peer-reviewed journal about quantum gravity and how the spin rate and speed of the energy around the singularity is essentially where gravity comes from. Despite the fact that public acknowledgement of this would lead to technology like flying cars and cloud cities, it's also an explanation for the subtle yet apparent connection between the celestial bodies and our mental emotional selves. Now don't worry, we're gonna come back to quantum gravity down the road. But in the meantime, this time slot is reserved for some stuff about the energies of Mars in relationship to all of us. In this particular flavor, Mars had been moving opposite in Libra. This energy sort of pushes us in the direction of making shifts in our lives, lifting the veil of who we think we are, the emotional awareness of our male energy. The waves of these experiences can be our opportunities and fertilizer for tremendous growth in our connections to each other and to see what matters most to us as we are co-creating our lives together. As Mars comes to a close, it's sort of like a book in that there's a crescendo of energy at the final few weeks and then a closing out of the vibrations and the creation and transition into something new. Think back, any big explosions in the past month, good or bad? You may have found yourself in situations which triggered impatience. You can look at this as the old ego, the old programs that clung to what's left of itself as you stepped away from it. I think it's safe to say that we all got caught up in ourselves at some point or another. That's normal. The key here is recognizing it, and upon the recognition, changing it into something new. Healing happens in the resolving of problems, the coming together of old energies with the transmutation to change and create that very something new we just mentioned. That's really what Mars Retrograde is all about, cultivating both that feeling and the physical action and motion that goes along with it into the new cycle. And remember, you never stop doing anything. You simply start doing something new. The transition itself is the close to the previous thing, unless you choose to incorporate both of them together. Now, you don't know iPatch yet, but he knows you pretty well. I asked him about this and he said something like, it's as if being strapped to a large rubber band and you're trying to move forward and create and yet there's something pulling on you. As Mars retrograde comes to a close, there's a point at which the rubber band either breaks and you go soaring forward or it snaps back, pulling you with it. If the motion and growth simply isn't there, if it lays dormant inside you, then that rubber band is gonna whip you around and leave you dizzy and disoriented. Really, I think it happens to all of us to varying degrees. There's constantly so much happening all the time. Through our awareness of that, we can make decisions that propel us forward. Mars retrograde not only affects us on an individual level, but on a global level too. We'll all have to pay attention to that one because we'll be the ones making it happen by choosing where we put our attention and focus and we'll see how many people broke that rubber band and how many people got snapped back. Oh, so I have a little bit of a surprise for you. Mars retrograde just ended, but Saturn retrograde is still happening and that one will remain in effect until July 20th. Maybe we'll have to do a video on one of those too soon. If you wanna learn more about that, click here. Or if you're on mobile, links on the comments until YouTube fixes these little linky boxes. You know the ones. That about covers it for this one. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to check out our new Spirit Science Live channel. There's some pretty cool stuff up on there too.